Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Brutal Doom 2 as played on the Jeezy Doom engine on the Ultra Violence difficulty. I'm Blood Eye Draken and this is Map 10 Refueling Base. First thing we're going to do is run out, get some enemies' attention, and run back in here and line them up like ducks in a barrel. Don't go grabbing that shotgun shell box just yet. I love how you can use an exploding pain elemental to actually really damage enemies nearby. Anyway, yeah, enemies are a bit tight with the shotgun shells. A, a little bit, I find. And we have a, an official secret to the right here. Get yourself some health, po health bonuses and a shotgun with shells. So we're not going to pick that up just yet. We're going to take care of everyone in the brown pillar room first. Along with the nearby room and outdoor hallway. There's some pinkies in there. We're not going to alert them just yet though. Oh my! I see that the zombies over there have been woken up early from the refueling base. No matter, we'll deal with them accordingly. Bit of a screw in my plans, but that's, that's okay. They don't all come out at once, so that's fine. So, we'll ignore that for now. Right now we just need to get back to the brown pillar room and finish off the rest of the zombies and imps and then reveal some monsters from the brown pillars to finish off as well. So we got three trigger points. Uh, I'm gonna try and put them into view without opening them up. But yeah, there's a view trigger point there that you die. There's a trigger point there that opens up that pillar, and then that that trigger point there opens this up, and then we have a trigger point at that door there that opens up these two side pillars. So I'm going to get the plasma gun out. Trigger that one open because it's because there's pain elements inside and they need to die. Let's do rockets actually. I guess plasma cells are more effective than rockets at the uh, at killing off pain elementals. Fair enough. And then after we're done with our killing spray, we'll reveal the secrets. We'll tag them. Is is what I'm getting at. Did he die? The second one? I know the first one did. I think he did. That's cool. Oh, there you are. You're hiding. You need to work on your hide and seek skills in the next life. Maybe then you can try and come back to Earth and successfully invade. When I'm not here. Okay, I can assume only more I can only assume more zombies came in from the refueling. No, they came from here. They had to come from the refueling base. Whatever. Let's just grab that armor and the armor bonuses. Yeah, when you want to be careful when trick opening up these two. They have a shit ton of zombies, so let's jib them to bits. And then polish it off. There's the first secret. Pick up the one with the radiation suit inside so that we don't take any poison. Plenty of different goodies inside. Armor bonuses, health bonuses. Lots and lots of ammo. Mostly bullets I find, but bullets are always good. 
when you have a large group of demons, a minigun is for maximum pleasure. Okay, we're done with the kills in this room. We're done with over here, just about. The hallway is well and truly emptied. I'm just double checking each room I go through as I go, so that I don't double double track myself and find myself going wandering through areas I don't need to be in anymore. So that takes care of the invisible spectres. We now have a. We've just picked up another chain gun. We're now going to clear out what's left of the zombies in this refueling base. Okay, so yeah, not all of them were alerted and came out to look for me. That's fine. Should be an estimation of five secrets here. I believe there's a few UAC logos that are enlarged that count as secrets. Then there's a secret that leads to a back uh, uh, a back passage, along with an, uh, a teleporter that brings you to the Cyber Demon early, or maybe not even early. Just you get a, you get yourself a nice vantage point. So if you kick them open, yeah, there's some body armor there. Leave that alone for now though. I've tagged it and I don't need to pick it up just yet. There's also Soul Sphere. I'll pick that up later. Once I've got full health. Okay, there's those two. There should be two or three more, I imagine. Yeah, there's that door there. And then there's another one back over there, and then there's some cells across from that, so you'll see it as I go. So yeah, there's about five USC logo doors you can kick open, and then a couple more secrets in the adjacent area. Whoops. That's better. Looks like we're full on chain gun ammo, that's nice. So I'll pick up the Berserker pack. So across the, the way is the plasma cells I was mentioning. So that's one, two, three, four for the soul sphere. I'll pick that up now. And then there should be a fifth one here. Yeah, five. That, sound, that seems about right. So we'll grab the minigun for this occasion. We're going to need that. Because boy howdy, there's a lot of fucking demons! Oh, the god that you will see when you work in the UAC. And a backpack for your troubles. Why not? A little bit of handouts never hurt. So when you hit the switch next to that secret there, you can pretty much take a back alley into the blue key area with the arachnatrons, but I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, I'll, I'll take out whatever ones, whatever arachnatrons and uh, revenants I can attract here. So, we'll come back to this room from another uh, entry later on and take out what's left of the demons in there. The rest haven't hurt us, I'm going to leave them be. That way I know exactly what I'm doing throughout each part of the map. For now, let us proceed to the Cyber Demon. How do we get there? Remember that secret with... yeah, this one here with all the dead demons in it. Open her up, and walk through a teleporter. And tell the demon, tell this guy here, this cyber demon with his 
lovely, sexy ass to go fuck himself. Get off, scum! Oh, he mad! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Which way is up? Ooh, motherfucker! Then we'll just take out whatever demons remain in this area. And, this brings you to the blue door, which you don't need a blue key for, inexplicably. But it brings you to one of the main rooms that you need to traverse through to make progress. So, where to next? I believe you need to find the blue key in order to get through there. There should be a yellow key door around here somewhere. There it is, but yeah, you need the blue key to get through there as well. It's one of those kind of weird exits. So down here we have some, ar some uh, revenants and imps, pain elementals, we've got the advantage of surprise. Let's use it! Beautiful shit! And that, my friends, is the Revenant's rocket launches on my shoulder. Yes, you blow them open, you can grab yourself one of those. I've also got one of the Mancubus cannons. Good shit. No, it's slow going progress the way I'm playing it, but we've still got plenty of rooms to explore left yet. There's a secret over there too, but we're going to get that to that last, after we've acquired all the other secrets. I just want to see where I'm at. About 10 at the moment. Ah yes, I forgot to tag these, didn't I? Most likely. Okay, one of them set off being a secret. I guess I just want to make sure I got them all. I thought I did earlier. I'm assuming I did then. So, where to next? Yes, we need the blue key, so it's in this room here. That's right, I said that I would get back to this room and polish off what was left of the demons inside this room. So hitting that little white light on the floor will reveal some demons from the walls. It's not a secret though. But that makes sense, I mean it is there. So grab yourself some bullets, rockets, health kit and BFG. Always nice. Did I take this secret early before, I believe? Oh, no, I didn't. So, yes, if you hit that mismatched wall, it'll open up. And it should lead you to some Arachnotrons and Imps. I don't know. I could use a BFG, but I just... Wow, okay, I wasn't wrong. So, if you have the light, if you have the light goggles on, uh... Kinda of messes up your uh, vision a little bit. The uh, plasma cells, anyway. Let's go rescue that guy. <laughs> Sounds like he's got a rocket launcher. Oh shit, they're dangerous. I think it's just best to let sit back and let him take care of the action. 
He's going to get someone hurt with that thing. Probably himself. That's alright though, it saves me some ammo. If you, if you were able to see that through the goggles, you pretty much grabbed one of the imps and curb stomped him into the ground. Yeah, if they've got a rocket launcher, you want to stay away from them. Just let them do the work. We've got two more secrets in this, uh, in this room here. Oh, shit. He's gonna get himself killed, I just know it, if not me. But we have a secret up here, up above the rocket launcher. Some armor and health. And... Yeah, that window is pretty much a lift. We should have two more secrets to find in this area. Or one, actually. Basically, that cracked wall has armor bonuses inside. And a berserker. Where are we at so far? 15. Okay, I know exactly where to find the last of the secrets then. I do apologize for bringing up the auto map a fair bit. It's This is just one of those maps that's all over the place and can confuse the hell out of me. So sometimes I just gotta check to make sure I know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I know exactly where the last secret is. Enemy count? Yep, we're nearly done. We are good to go, we just need to go get that blue key. We need to go get that secret and we'll be out of here just remember where it was. Well, let's just grab the secret while we're down here. Just walk near that that texture there. And between the two pillars, a door will open up. And all three steps count as a secret. So just pick it up. Run out as fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Alright, it's not perfect stats, but it'll do. Now, where the darn heck is that blue door room? It's around here. See, I, n I sort of know this map, but uh, I don't have a perfect memory of it. I think it's back here. Yes, there it is. We just need to get behind this wall, pick up the blue key in here. Now it's just a matter of finding the exit and getting out of here. So, is it down here? Yeah, through the uh, through these tiles. They look like bathroom tiles, if you ask me. Like in some dirty ghetto neighborhood. Anyway, through the yellow door, through the blue door connecting. Do a 180 and hit the exit. Oh, woo! 100% sick kills. Fuck yeah! Almost 100% items and 100% secrets. How long did that take? Yeah, that's not too bad considering. One of my runs, I had to cancel it because it was going pear-shaped and it was 17 minutes in. So I'd say this is a decent run on Brutal Doom. I'm just glad to have this map out of the way. Oh, it, tomorrow is going to be... Join me next time on Doom 2 and tomorrow... On, uh, on the next time on Doom 2, I'm getting muddled up here. It's going to be much shorter. Much less secrets to deal with as well. That's going to be very nice. I love this map though, it just has to be said. You, you can just go in every which way you please and kill enemies from different angles. I like maps that do that, even though they're confusing as hell. See you next time on Circle of Death, or also known as O of Destruction.